Hello everybody. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we'll be making my mom's um, recipe, chicken tikka and some boiled vegetables on the side. Curly. Guys, this is the end result of the royal ice cream. There's ice cream scoop. Have a wonderful day. So in this pan, um, she put some vegetables to boil, and then she put water, of course, as you may all see. Then she put a tablespoon of vinegar and and one tablespoon of sugar. Sugar to maintain the color of the vegetables, so they don't become dull and bland, uh, dull and um, lose their color basically they stay natural then on to the chicken so what she did was she put it in some water and then she put vinegar in there and then she just dumped the chicken in there and she put some salt as well and then she's gonna let the chickens uh, sit in there until it's clean there is no blood or residue coming out of it. So the vegetables are done boiling. The chicken is done too. Um, so we're gonna just start marinating now. Okay. So drain out the chicken water. Mm -hmm. And once it's drained out properly, then we can start marinating. So we're gonna use this bowls for marinating. Here we go. Two. That's a tablespoon. Three four five six seven and eight just and now we're just gonna mix the chicken with the with yogurt nice and well now we'll be putting some ginger garlic paste into the marination. So that's one tablespoon, two, 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 tablespoons. two tablespoons. Okay. Keep there. Mm -hmm. And give me the tikka masala. Okay, so now we're gonna add the chicken tikka masala. That's gonna go in there. Which one? Just a minute. Just let me marinate properly. So we're just gonna let that mix in. After that, we'll be adding one tablespoon. Just one. That's two less. One tablespoon of onion powder. More? Oh yeah, half. Half more. Okay. Just leave. Okay. Finish. Keep there. Mm -hmm. So we're done with the onion powder. So mix the chicken well, okay. Replacing that with vinegar. White vinegar. You can use the <coughs> organic vinegar also, but in this time we have only this. So, so we're using this one, okay. Organic vinegar works too. Three, four. Thirty minutes at uh, room temperature. Okay, so we'll leave chicken at room temperature. Okay, okay keep it for thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's ready now. Uh, yeah. I put little uh, some coconut oil. Yes, coconut the, oil. I love the, the stuff. Pan. The pan. I'll make my mom cook everything in coconut oil. What are we waiting for? The marinating the chicken. Waiting for oil. Okay, oil so we're gonna heat up the oil. Oh, correct, yeah. correct. The herbs, Italian herbs. Yes, Italian herb spices. Methi dana, methi dana, urdu methi dana, sakya patani. Methi dana. There we go. Methi dana. What have you put? Okay. 
I know, I think it's called Fangul something. Yeah. I'm sorry if I'm not saying the name correct. I'm not sure myself. White Zira? Yes. How can I not know this? This is White Zira. Onion powder? Coriander powder. Sorry, sorry. That was coriander powder. Now the vegetable. We already tender, but just seasoning. Seasoning the vegetable. Okay, we're seasoning the vegetable. And next we're going to add some ajwain. And now we're going to add some black pepper. Tablespoon. No. Not mm -hmm. tablespoon. Yes. Just a little bit. According to your taste. Mm -hmm. Turn down the stove. No, turn down. Yeah, so turn down the stove a bit, right? Yeah, this is the garlic. This is garlic. Powder? Garlic salt powder, yes. There's salt and garlic mixed with it. This is the onion, onion powder. powder. That also a good amount. Best teriyaki sauce, by the way. Not Sorry teriyaki. about the label. Teriyaki. Teriyaki, yes. This is Develop the taste. Mm -hmm. One. One tablespoon. One and half because we are we have we love flavorful food. We don't eat bland food, that's why <laughs> we can't eat bland food. We always have to add too so much flavor to it. But if you don't like it, then you don't have to. Lunch. Now, just one more ingredient left. We'll be adding some soya sauce. Yes, just a little. This also is very flavorful. Adds a lot of flavor to whatever you're cooking. So, the vegetables are done. Yeah. And now, we're going to move on to the chicken. So, let's get started. So, current status of the recipe. We're on to cooking the chicken tikka. And we have used a large pan, very important. Um, this is important so the chicken does not break and become mushy and um, lose a shape and structure. It stays like it is. Um, so we have turned it on max. Um, this is going to cook for a bit and then we will show you how we dish out the recipe. I'll show the process of how the chicken is being cooked. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. But so once you and try to use the chicken that has cuts into the chicken chicken this allows the masala the spices to really get into the chicken um, and makes the chicken inside out t um, tender and you know tasty and so we're gonna leave uh, the, the heat on max this is really important because we have to let the chicken juice dry over here it's very liquidy which ends up making the chicken very mushy so we want it to become in its form so we're just gonna leave it like this and let it cook so we're almost done are we done yeah. yes we are done so we're gonna be adding a bit of uh, coconut oil eyeballing it mm -hmm. oh, the chicken has already been it's almost done just a little bit more yeah. so there you have it we're all done Hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please subscribe for more videos like this.